The contents of these words, given by God and Jesus through the chairman of Shinchanji Church of Jesus, are written according to the Bible with the purpose of benefiting the public for the church's and the members' knowledge regarding faith. These contents are also written according to Jesus' words to let our yes be yes and our no, no, so that the churches and the members can carry on in true faith. Jesus' Commission and Power According to John 10.35, the scriptures cannot be broken. Jesus came according to the scriptures, fulfilled prophecy according to the scriptures, and left again according to the scriptures. God promised Abraham that the Israelites would escape Egypt after four generations. Just as he promised, God came to Moses, performed many miracles, and delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. Just as he prophesied through the Old Testament prophets, God came to Jesus and performed many miracles. He raised Lazarus from the dead and walked on water. He fed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish, leaving 12 basketfuls of leftovers. How could Jesus have performed these miracles if God wasn't with him? Moses had power because God was with him. Jesus had power because God was with him. God fed the Israelites manna and quail in the time of Moses. God also came to Jesus to perform powerful signs. The priests of that time, however, were jealous of Jesus because they could not perform the same miracles. They cursed at their congregation members that followed Jesus. They tried to prevent others from going to Jesus by calling Jesus a cult leader and the devil. They should have given thanks and glory to God that Jesus was able to feed so many people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Instead, they slandered Jesus for not keeping the traditions of the elders. For example, washing one's hands before eating. They were obviously not thinking clearly. True heretics blame others for their own wrongdoing. Jesus, on the other hand, bore the cross for our sins and established the twelve tribes of the spiritual Israel. He also promised what would be fulfilled in the future. He promised he would return and then he ascended to heaven. Today, believers must not be like the Jews of that time, who refused to believe and instead told lies designed to harm others. We pray that everyone will believe in the work of God so that everyone can be saved.